What's up? Welcome. What do you think? Come on in. So this is gonna be our little MTV Cribs Carrick Home Edition. We realized we never really gave a full tour of this house. You know, you've seen snippets of it on Instagram and on this channel, but we never went through it and explained why things are the way they are. Yeah. So a little bit about this house and what led us to this. We bought this house in July last year and it's kind of a crazy story what led us to the house. Very casually looking. A lot of these houses in this area go, we're going super quick. Yeah. Like they would like be spring up. time. And then this area is booming. So actually we had to go see this house immediately and we went right after my my marathon. So I ran a marathon and then we had to come see the open house here right after, along with five other six five, six other yeah. houses in the area. Yeah. This was by far hands down the, our favorite and one that we were immediately drawn to and draw to draw. Trump. Trump. We had to do best and final offer like two days later. So it was a crazy whirlwind of like, oh, like, let's just go check out a house to yeah. let's put in an offer to house. We ended up losing the offer. Our, even though we went in over asking, we actually were like the fourth highest. And then we, so we were kind of like, you know what, it's the whole, if it was meant to be, it was meant to be. Why don't we wait till we're married? So we we're like, we'll hang it up and come back to it in a couple months. A month later, we find out the person that had the highest bid ended up falling through. She was apparently like crazy. A couple below them broke up. Broke up. They were engaged. Broke up. A couple below them bought a house in that matter of a couple weeks. So they were like, "It's yours if you want it." And we we weren't even together. When we were together. <laughs> we weren't physically together. I was away on a shoot, so I remember like talking to her before. I was heading to like the actual location of the shoot and like we were like, I, let's do it, okay? Yeah, that was, was kind of really weird. stressful. It was especially weird because she was walking to work and it was, but yeah. by far. So like you need to make a decision like now. now. Yeah. By far the best decision we made. This house was actually built in 1924. It's almost 100 years old and there's a lot of pros and cons that come with buying a house of that age. I don't think I've actually described this house in detail. This house is 2,000 square feet. It's four bedrooms, two baths. The fourth bedroom is actually the attic, technically, because it's finished, so they consider it a bedroom. It's just us and Leo. It's plenty of house for us to grow into, at least start a family with uh, the next couple years, and then who knows, probably upgrade. Uh, but for now, we absolutely love this house. This is home. This is without a doubt home. So enough of me talking. Let's dive into yeah. the house tour. This is obviously the living room. We made this fireplace white and we converted the fireplace to electric. It is literally just a matter of a switch. And it's and on. It's on. So these plantation shutters are actually here when we moved in and they're the best thing ever. This is our newest addition to the house. I'm obsessed with it. It's from our house. And I don't know, I just feel like it fits so perfectly here. So we come from the living room into arguably our favorite room in this house. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it throughout this video, but this probably sold us on the house. The character, the amount of light, the warmthness, just immediately drawn to this and love it so much. Now, this is clearly the desert room. So, what you're looking at is the first purchases of our house. We bought this before we even moved in, which honestly was probably really bold of us to do. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't even like, realize how bold it was until we moved in here. We didn't even know what it was gonna, yeah, right. we didn't know where they were gonna be, we didn't know how exactly it was gonna look like, but they, they were perfect. perfectly. So then you got like your snake plant to tie that in. You got our <laughs> other one over here. We have fake <laughs> cactus. We have a thing for cacti. If you hadn't already been able to tell through Instagram posts and just snippets of our house, but we love cacti so much. There's more throughout the house than this. I, uh, I got love this. <laughs> we haven't named him yet. No. Oh yeah, you're right. You have it. You feel a buffalo. No, buffalo feels definitely not buffalo. Mm. But this buffalo skull is from Wyoming. 
one of my shoots for L.L. Bean when I was out there. Saw this, I knew we were moving. Just We just kind of pictured it in this house, so I had it shipped back from Wyoming, and it fits perfectly over the piano. This was actually Laura's, this was Laura's parents' piano. It's a real tune, but this was Laura's stand-up piano. They asked if we wanted it. Yes, how can you turn out a piano? Piano. Julio. How cool is that? People question the disco ball when they see the pictures, but they don't realize the effect that it adds to a room. Look at this. <laughs> but this, we, this is absolutely probably our favorite room in the house. Yeah. I think it's safe to say. Definitely. So with we, I mean, once again, bringing it back to 1924, the character that comes with this, and the yeah. character that comes with these, these are like old windows with chains, like they're unbelievable which we'll probably need to replace eventually just because they're so beautiful. So let's move into the dining room. So this was originally a different color. This and the fireplace were the first things that we painted as soon as we got into the house. Very dark, different chandelier obviously. The main theme in our house is just kind of white and bright. We just love natural light. We love brightening things up. And this house was very kind of dark for the amount of windows and natural light that comes in. It still felt dark. So fireplace brightened up the living room. This room got brightened up tremendously. It's crazy what like painting Just a little like bit of paint, right? It like does wonders. We're changing. We have our the ever-changing dining room cabinet. We probably the second newest addition right here behind the mirror to our house, which is the bar cart, the paintings. And you see the plant. She's constantly changing it, constantly finding new things. We're moving into the kitchen. Once again, white and bright. We painted, the very first week that we were here, we painted all the cabinets. We painted the walls white. A lot of cabinets, decent counter space. Once again, it's just us for now. So definitely our next home, we'll want more of a grander kitchen that's more open into the living room, that's dining room. But for us, this is this all we need right now. This is all we need. Here is how we go to the backyard. But we'll take you upstairs first. upstairs and then this is our guest room. We're still working on it, we still gotta repaint the room, but this we bought off previous owner, which we absolutely love. It's from West Elm. You can't really, you're not storing anything in it, but like, it's just a beautiful display. We have wedding picture, going to J.R. Jones, we got our records, and then just one of these classic old windows that have so much character with the chains. Like, I absolutely love these. For now, this is actually Leo's room. Okay. Come on. This is Sugar Shades headquarters. This is where we box everything, ship everything out, do all of the online stuff, um, design, etc. This is where the magic happens. But this is also where I edit all my videos, anything I need my computer for. This room was dark blue. Again, white and bright. Yeah, like we can go white first. And then if we want, we can change it. It's safer bet to go white and just figure it out later. Room is very white. No, I'm looking at it. Yeah. White, white, I think white, we need some pictures up here. White like a little gallery, like a gallery wall. Gallery, so what do you think? Cool. Gallery wall? I think gallery so. Wall. Yeah. So eventually we'll probably, probably. the nursery that will probably make the office into the attic. But for now. This is the office. Coming into the master bedroom. This is another room that we painted white again. I know. I know. But we'll probably eventually change things. But. Like we said, this was like a dark gray, so like we just wanted to bring up the house first. But you come in, we yeah. This is a California king or king? I think I think it's California king because it's longer. If you longer. don't have a king size bed, you need to invest in one. It is absolutely one of my favorite things in this house. Yeah, is being able to sleep on a king size bed. We slept on a queen, and man, does it make a difference. This plus a lot of the house is Laura's doing. And I mean that in like, it's her vision, her picking things out, it kind of just like, 
I kind of just veto it or not if I don't really <laughs> like it, but usually I love what she picks out. Thanks, babe. So we have Laura's hats. So this is your hat. <laughs> the one. This is my Wyoming hat. I... <gasps> oh. <laughs> don't break the cactus. I'm gonna do that with a real cactus. That's that would have hurt. <laughs> the R house mirror downstairs, this is the anthropology one. The reason why we didn't get the bigger anthropology one downstairs is because the bigger version of this is about five feet wide. Yeah. Which was way too the wide. The just wouldn't work. It just didn't work. So the R house one actually was perfect for downstairs. So obviously this isn't one of the most aesthetically pleasing things to have in your room. But when you have a cat like this, like <laughs> one of the things that helps sell the house, the attic. Everything. We decided to really lean into the cabin feel up here. To change it up from the desert, chic, rustic kind of stuff going on downstairs. So your cabin in the woods that we bought from the Catskills. We have our ax, we got the bear skin, we have the owl, we have the what pelican. Just like that. You have your little movie room. So obviously this isn't the biggest backyard, but after that it was very important to us to utilize every single inch and cranny and nook in this backyard. So the first thing we did was plow. The very first weekend that we moved in, we actually cleared out the entire backyard because it was way overgrown. It wasn't lived in for two months, I think. So everything was a mess. Crazy weeds up here. So we cleared that out, kind of made it a blank slate. Put sod in right here. Now we're letting that turn into a pachysandra and kind of wildflowers. We have two rose bushes over here. A little bit of the X factor of the yard, if not the whole house itself, was these are grapes. Not many people know that we have a grapevine in our backyard, which is Super cool. We didn't get to try them last year because of the time we moved in. They weren't like. In the patio, we put the rocks in, we put the beds, the sod, and we put these tall grasses in. These are gonna keep growing. We got the lights overhead. We got our lounge chairs. We're gonna get new plants going in there. And this is where the sunroom is. So it is just a fun little corner that was not being used at all. I get a lot of sun during the day, so we get the tan and everything. This arch, I don't know if it looks familiar to any of you. Jason and I got married on Friday. My brother Bill actually built this, so we got to take it home, and it's something that will be with us forever. Put some wire, and then the grapes just started coming down, which is so cool. So I think by the end of the summer, they'll be wrapped around there, which I don't know if you can see, but that will be a pretty big grapevine. One of our absolute favorite things in this house are these hedges on the side. So you can hang out back here and feel so alone and private and so nice, which, mm -hmm. especially for a small backyard, is essential. So that concludes the house. There's obviously the basement, some other little things in the house that we're just not ready to show just yet because we're not fully finished and up to par where we want it to be, but we finally feel comfortable with it. Finally coming together. I really hope you enjoyed our little house tour, our little home tour. If you have any little questions about it, about the process of us buying it, or little things that we just kind of overlooked when we're walking through, let us know, comment below. Um, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Until next time. Bye.